Hello YouTube, Daniel from Maximum Photoshop's back here with another tutorial for you guys. So let's get right into it. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a really cool plasticky looking text effect. Really nice shine on it, very simple to make, very easy, mostly just some layer styles. So let's get right into it. Let's create a new document. I'm going to make the width 1366 by the height of 768. All right. So now what we're going to do is create our background. So let's get our gradient tool. And the gradient I'm going to use for this is the first color, which will be 2F, 25, 20. And the last stop, which would be 1E, 1916. Hit OK. Make sure that you're on the radial gradient. And go from the top left corner and drag it downwards. That should be good enough. So let's create a new layer now. Take our text tool. And the text, or the font that I'm going to be using rather, is going to be Gil Sans Ultra Bold. I'm going to make sure to link this in the description. And very easy to install. You just double click on the TTF file and hit install. So I'm going to link it in the description. And once you have that downloaded, let's get started. Feel free to use any other font that you want, but I'm going to go with this. And I'm just going to type in Max Imam. Alright, so let's reposition it. And it's not fitting, so let's extend this. Let's extend our image somewhere around there. Hit Enter. And now we got to extend the background by zooming out, clicking Control T, and dragging it outwards. Alright, so now this is basically all layer styles. So I have the layer styles ready. I'm going to copy and paste the layer styles and then I'll go through with you guys what the layer styles are. Remember that after you watch the video, I'm going to make sure to link the PSD in the description for you guys. So if you don't want to follow along with layer styles, you can just download the PSD and follow with that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and paste the layer styles. So, here we are, layer styles are pasted, and let's go through them now. First we have a bevel and emboss, and the bevel is inner bevel, the technique is smooth, the depth is 100%, direction is up, size is 13 pixels, soften is 0. Now the shadow mode is overlay, it's 56%, and make sure to change the color to a light green, or whatever color you're using for your image. Once you have that done, just hit OK. And make sure that the highlight mode is screen, but it's 0%. Next, let's go to contour. You're going to make a custom contour, something like this. It's going to be like hills. A bump on each edge of the square. A bump, a bump, and at the last one, it's going to be a small hill that's going to end up on the same line. I'm going to wait two seconds, so you can just take another look at it. Pause it if you need. One, two. All right, back to the tutorial. And the range is 57%. So let's go to stroke now. The stroke is going to be one pixel. The position is going to be inside. Blend mode is multiply. Opacity is 100%. And the color is a darkish green. Now it's going to make an inner shadow. The inner shadow is on multiply. It's 75%. It is a pure black. The angle is 120 degrees. Distance 0, choke 0, size 32. Now let's go to gradient overlay. The gradient is going to be a dark green. For this I'm using 1D, 9C, 20, to a dark gray, 1E, 1916. This is actually a brown that we used in our background. All right. Now make sure the scale is 100%, the angle is 90, and the style is radial, and reverse is not checked. And the opacity is 45%. And let's go to outer glow. The blend mode is going to be screen, the opacity is 5%, and it's going to be another dark green. For this I'm using 4.3, A8, 3.9, and the spread is 0, size is 59, range is 50%. And lastly, we have a drop shadow just to distinguish it. I'm actually going to make it a little bigger for distance and the size. So for now, I'm using multiply with 
black, opacity 75%, angle is 120 with use global light check, distance is 7, spread is 0, size is 32. All right. Hit OK. So now the majority of it is done. Now what we have to do is create a new layer. And let's select our text. Let's make a selection by holding Control and hitting this T right here. And it's going to select our text right here. So now what we want to do is go to Select, Modify, and Contract. Now for the size of the image that I'm using, I'm going to contract it by 6 pixels. But depending on your size, you're going to contract it a different amount. And lastly, let's go to our gradient tool. Let's take our gradients right here, which will be white to transparency. Make sure they're both white at the ends. Hit OK. And what we want to do is just drag down from the top to the bottom. Make sure that you're on linear gradients. And drag down from the top to the bottom. Now we want to leave some space at the bottom. That seems pretty good. Now we can click Control and D to deselect. And let's go ahead and change the opacity. Let's make it somewhere around 75%. Now let's go ahead and take our ellipse or elliptical marquee tool. Let's go from one side right here. Drag outwards and inwards. It's not covering the whole thing, so let's Control Z. Let's go more from the bottom. That's better. And make something like this, a very long and extended oval shape. Now let go and hit Delete and Control D once more. Go here and change the opacity, make it a little bit lower. I'd say 54%. And there you go. You have your plasticky looking hex. Very simple, very easy. Mostly using layer styles, as I said at the start of the tutorial. And you can do this with any color. So how to do that is just replace anything that I use green with. Replace with the color you want. So let's say red. So once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll make sure that the font is in the description. I'll make sure that the PSD is in the description for you to download and copy the layer styles if you want. So thank you once again for watching. And Daniel from Maximum Photoshop's out.